On summer nights, I would sit with my father under our yard's tree, asking him for a story. Those nights were filled with many memories. My father was a man who whistled and sang through life. Trinidad S. Alvarado, Jr. was born on June 20, 1916, in Long Beach, California. His parents, Trinidad Sr. and Tomasa, settled in Long Beach after they had fled from Mexico to escape the revolution. The family flourished until the Great Depression. My father, like other children of the Depression, quit school to find work. Luckily, Long Beach had the Pike, an amusement park by the ocean that attracted people from the world over in spite of hard times. There he worked three barbershops shining shoes. Unbeknownst to his parents, Trinidad started fighting, being trained by Todd Kid Mexico Faulkner. At age 16, Trinidad went 12 and 0, all by KO, amazing. Impressed, Mr. Faulkner sent a manager to have Trinidad's parents sign a contract. His parents refused any of my dad's boxing career. My father let go of his boxing disappointment after disaster struck. On March 10, 1933, at 5.55 p.m., an earthquake hit Long Beach. Trinidad, in the street during the earthquake, pulled a neighbor girl away from falling bricks. Military personnel were called out to assist, and people were removed from their homes. The long process to rebuild was underway. Years later, as life was back to normal, my father's sisters obtained work at a Hollywood party. My dad went to pick up his sisters, and one actress asked about the handsome young man that was waiting outside. She invited him in to dance. It was Joan Fontaine. My father also danced with her sister, Olivia de Havilland, an experience my father never forgot. Eventually, Trinidad married Angela Nieto, but their marital bliss was short-lived as my father was inducted into the Army for World War II. He became a marksman and earned a combat infantryman badge and a bronze campaign star. In later years, my father became friends with artist and writer Avon Neal. My father would regale Avon with tales about the ghosts of Long Beach and the mysteries of the old pike. Even today, I remember the sly smile my father gave me after every story, as if he knew the secrets of life itself.